You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers. Today was Aaron Rodgers Tuesday on the Pat McAfee Show. And he talked about a couple of things. Number one, he sent a very clear message to people that doubts he was ever injured. I, I, I guess that's a thing. I didn't know it was a thing. But um, I, I, I'd seen a couple of people not necessarily come out and say they doubted it. I think some of these, some of these wild-ass radio hosts kind of came out and acted like they didn't know if he was actually hurt. And, um, which is crazy to me, but let's be honest, his recovery period and his target date for coming back from an Achilles tear has seemed pretty damn crazy too. Okay. Uh, now he had been saying that, uh, whatever the playoff status of the jets was going to be versus his comeback would have no bearing on each other. Well, it does seem like he is starting to apply Some actual common sense because, I mean, if the Jets aren't in the playoff chase, why come back? It makes no sense. And it feels like you're setting yourself up to come back and get either re-injured the same Achilles or tear the other one, which does happen. So that's something to think about. So let's check this out. He was on with Pat McAfee, and he talks about the potential for him coming back. Always been uh, first, am I healthy? And then, uh, are we alive? Are we in it? Are we playing uh, good enough to make a run? Can I step in and, and protect myself and play at the level that I feel like I'm capable of playing? Um, but the first part is, is the health. So can I uh, protect myself? Can I move around the way I want to move around? Um, so there's, there's a natural progression here to the rehab. And... Um, you know, that's going to involve actually getting back onto the field um, to start to do some things uh, that are more football-related. Uh, um, but again, we're, we're still we're not, we're not where I can make a decision uh, on, on playing because I'm just, uh, health-wise, I'm, I'm improving steadily, but I'm not, uh, in, uh, I'm not able to play at this point. Got it. So we will revisit where everything is whenever you're healthy enough to get back on the field. Then it'll be a full discussion and conversation about everything. Yeah, once once I'm healthy, then that's where we're at. And, and, and uh, uh, are we alive? Are we in it? Can I help the team and not hurt the team by being back out there? Can I protect myself? Can I move around, do all the things I want to do? Um, if the answer is yes, then we uh, move uh in that direction, if the answer is no, then you know, I got to listen, listen to my body. Um, obviously, I, I still have to get cleared by uh, everybody at that point, but um, but it's health, health first, and then um, uh, can I, you know, can I play? Are we alive? Got it. Uh, in, for the playoffs. Okay, so I got to be real. That sounds a hell of a lot different than it did just a couple of weeks ago. Remember, it was the two are mutually exclusive of each other, whether we're in it, I want to play, no matter what, blah, 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 as long as I'm healthy enough. Now I do believe, hey, you're applying some common sense. I don't think he thought the Jets would be this bad. I don't think he thought we would be sitting here after 11 games and the Jets be 4-7 and seven with an 8-3 and three Dolphins team laying in the weeds up next, right? I just don't think he thought I think maybe he thought it would be a 5 and 6, a 6 and 6. Well, I guess it'd be a 6 and 5 because maybe they haven't had a bye week yet, but you get the point, all right? I I think he thought they might be in a better position at this point than they are. Now, jet schedule Got to be honest with you, if they could get any quarterback play, they got winnable games on here. They do. Falcons game, potentially. Look, you beat the Eagles. So every game is potentially winnable. But you got Falcons on here, you got a chance. Commanders, definitely got a chance. 
This was the game that he was going to try to come back and play, the Commanders game. And then you got a Browns team that is starting to Dorian Thompson Robinson or PJ Walker. So you got a chance there. So there are, in theory, three games on the schedule that are winnable. I think everybody, you know, two months ago thought this Texans game was going to be winnable. The problem is the Texans are going to score points. And that's going to be hard. Any team that is going to score points, they're going to be tough to beat. They're going to be tough to beat. And in fact, I guess they just played I guess they just played the Dolphins. Uh, let me look. Yeah, they just played the Dolphins. Gave up 34 points. There's only so much they can do. So uh, I got to be real here, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but are you better off playing Zach Wilson? Because as bad as Zach Wilson was two weeks ago, he felt better than what you had last week. And there's been some games Zach Wilson's kind of been competitive in, and I, or Trevor Simeon, why not give him a shot? I don't know. So that leads us to this. People who doesn't they, they don't think that, that Aaron Rodgers is actually hurt. Well, he sent him a message. There's still people that don't think he tore your Achilles. Will we ever get a photo of the Achilles being just ripped? <laughs> Listen, we're on YouTube now, so let me just say it to anybody out there that think I from my Achilles. GFY. Oh. Like that. Oh, what is that? First word is go, and the last word is yourself. Finger in the middle. Middle. The middle is probably what you're not doing living in your parents' basement. <laughs> Got it. Okay. That was what happened with Tovin. Yes. Got it. Okay, so Aaron Rodgers just basically said, if you don't really think he was, that he's hurt, that he got injured, then go F yourself. You know, look, look, Aaron Rodgers is fitting right in in New York. I mean, let, let's be honest. Um, he's fitting right in. Now, to the Jets, Jetsy part of this, I still think Joe Douglas, he made a massive mistake here not immediately getting on the phone and getting a Colt McCoy in there, getting a Carson Wentz in there, getting an actual legitimate professional backup quarterback. One could say prior to the season starting, not doing that, but the night of Aaron Rodgers' injury, they pretty much knew they pretty much knew by the end of the first quarter he had tore his Achilles, okay? It's general manager malpractice, and I think Joe Douglas may lose his job over this, to be quite honest. It is general manager malpractice, and I said this when I did the video the other day when Carson Wentz got signed by the Rams. And this goes for any other team out there that didn't call Carson Wentz because he's got 30,000 30, passing yards and a slew of touchdowns. He's a professional quarterback that could or should or at least teeters on being a starting quarterback. All right, let's be real. Carson Wentz, and I don't give a shit about uh, some of the supposed attitude issues. I don't care about none of that. He's better than like six starting quarterbacks right now. And he could have been the backup quarterback on this team. Now, Nathaniel Hackett's system is supposedly extremely complicated. It doesn't matter. You got to get a guy in there and you got to figure it out whereby three weeks after Aaron Rodgers' injury, you can put the guy in the play. You know, or why didn't you make the move to Trevor Simeon earlier? It's, you know, there's some talk of Robert Sala losing his gig and Joe Douglas losing his gig, and he's made some some of these uh, Aaron Rodgers-related signings look terrible now. Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb, et cetera. But you've got to get something in place that's going to be a, You cannot proceed having a Tim Boyle and Zach Wilson as your quarterback when you've got this good of a roster around these guys. 
You cannot tell me Colt McCoy is not a better quarterback than any entity they have on their roster. He's a professional quarterback that started, what, 40 or 50 games in his career? Probably. You just got to do, you got to reach out and sign a guy like that. Reach out to Chad Henning. Look, we'll overpay five million bucks. Come in the door. But you got to figure it out. You got to get somebody on there that is a professional quarterback that can give you at least a chance. Right, right. Just to have gotten, I mean, it's a miracle. They got four victories. But somebody that could have gotten you one or two more victories right now from where you stand. And then you've got something with Aaron Rodgers potentially coming back. By the way, the offensive line still isn't great. I don't know. I think Aaron Rodgers, remember, he was going to come back come hell or high water. I think he's starting to get some real... Look, he's starting to take a step back and go, I could come back. I could get hurt. This team may not probably will not make the playoffs. What am I doing if I come back? I mean, it makes sense. If they're out of it in two more weeks, and Jay Glazer talked about the fact that, you know, he might come back and and start practicing, I guess it would be next Monday, around the 4th, that he could show back up and start doing some things in preparation for that commander's that – And I understand Roger Goodell in the NFL is sitting back right now praying this happens. That they can get, on Christmas Eve, the return of Aaron Rodgers. It's a ratings juggernaut. I get it. But for Aaron's career and what his priorities are, which is to try to win a Super Bowl, just stay out, come back next year, and try to win a Super Bowl in one of two seasons. You know, tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. You're, you're, (laughs) this is starting to become a running series. The Aaron Rodgers update. Peace. I'm out till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like comment and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports.